Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is John and this is your Modern Tech Breakdown. Today, let's dive a little bit into the unfolding hack of the municipal infrastructure of St. Paul, Minnesota. Let's jump into it. So for the last week or so, the town of St. Paul, Minnesota has been dealing with a very significant cyber attack and has yet to be able to contain it. And it's gotten so bad that the city has declared a state of emergency and the governor has activated the National Guard. And in order to limit the damage, they've turned off all infrastructure. So city buildings have no Wi-Fi. You can't check out a book from the library the way you could before. And the city is unable to accept online payments. So yeah, not good. And this doesn't even get into the impact on the fire department and the police, which I haven't seen a ton of reporting on, perhaps because they don't want to create a sense of panic in the city that would follow any announcement about a reduction in police capabilities. But there are two details that I find most interesting about this story and and they're why I decided to make a video about it. First, it seems that the perpetrators have demanded no ransom so far, and we are a week into the incident. From my very cursory research, it seems that most ransomware attacks are followed by a ransom demand within 48 hours. And here we're a week into this thing and nothing? Are the attackers not financially motivated? If so, does that imply that St. Paul was just hacked by a nation state actor, potentially China? That's obviously pure speculation, but it certainly seems possible. And if it was an adversary like China, why do this now? Could this be some sort of experiment to see how we would respond to an attack like this? You'd have to think that if China was at fault here, that perhaps this is a dry run to gauge responses to the attack in order to improve their tactics for a broader attack. Total speculation, but I don't discount the possibility at this point in time. And secondly, St. Paul happens to be the capital of Minnesota, and it was just five or six weeks ago that we had the horrible political assassinations of state legislators in their home, and that really still hasn't been fully explained. It's a bit crazy to me how quickly that story faded from the national media. And let me be clear, this channel is not going to be about conspiracy theories, but the timing of this is certainly interesting at a minimum. But I'll wrap up with this. Government technology infrastructure at the city and state level here in the United States does not give me much confidence that it could withstand an attack from a sophisticated, resource-rich adversary on the level of China or a similar country. I certainly hope this isn't the start of a pattern of attacks that spreads across the country because I don't think we are in any way prepared to deal with something like that. A widespread attack on city and state level infrastructure reminds me of the 5-9 hack in Mr. Robot in terms of the scale of disruption to society in general. Let's all hope that remains a fictional story. But that's all I have on this story for now. As always, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you next time.